Now that I've selected Academic Search Complete within Ebscohost, I can do some searching. We default to this advanced search mode, which is very helpful for building search terms. You can add in multiple search terms on multiple lines. Let me start with something like the coronavirus. If you start to type your terms, what you're going to see is a drop down that has a whole bunch of different suggestions. Now, these aren't necessarily great subject terms. They're just terms that other people have tried to search for in the past or in the recent past. I'm just going to search for coronavirus right now. I can tell it eventually where to search in the database. So I can say it'll search in a particular field, like a subject or a title field. Or if you know the author of an article, you could look up just that author field. Down below, you'll see these search options provide access to, or ways of limiting, I should say, to full text, scholarly peer-reviewed sources. You can limit by publication date, et cetera. What I normally do when I search is I just search for my search term first, and I try to find out whether or not it's a good subject or not, because the subject will really narrow down my searching and my result list. For now, let's just try to search coronavirus. I'll do a search and it will pull up a list of results. In this case, 8,425. What I want to do first is to take a quick look at my subjects. Here I see COVID-19, I see coronaviruses, coronavirus disease, and a bunch of other things that are listed. For instance, the uh, WHO, or the World Health Organization, that's a spelled out search term. So if you search for WHO, the more appropriate or the better search term would be spelled out as a World Health Organization. In this case, there are a number of different coronaviruses uh, in the past that we've had, things like MERS and uh, SARS. So we're going to take a look instead, if we really want to focus in on what's happening recently, we're going to look at this subject term of COVID-19. One of the ways we can do that is by searching, uh, just typing that search term in the field itself and selecting subject. Or I can click into this result. And what that does is it provides me a little bit more detail about the article, uh, information, and I can see that as underneath the subject terms, I have COVID-19 as a hyperlinked option. I can click on that and it will redo my search as a subject search. And this results in 273 items. At this point, I can come to the left-hand side and I can limit to full text. It will redo my search. And of those 273, 86 are available full text. Most of these are gonna be peer reviewed or scholarly, but let's take a look and see just how many of those 86 peer-reviewed articles, well, there are 25. So this is the way we can narrow down our searches by uh, using the limiters on the left-hand side. Subject searching, again, you can take a look at these, and what you're gonna do is build different uh, subject searches based on what you're pulling up. And you're gonna, you know, here we have infectious disease transmission. So if you want to add any of those, you would just select those. Um, you could copy them type them into your search bar and you can say, I know that that's a subject term, so I'm gonna narrow my results even more. Of those 25, only one has both the combination of COVID-19 as a subject and infectious disease transmission as a subject. That's gonna be how you do a basic subject search.